My name is Paola Frankie, and I'm going to be showing you advanced color management using my Loop Deck Plus. I really like this image, so I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. By pressing Fn L3, you jump into develop mode. C4 does auto white balance. I'm going to start by adjusting the temperature. The exposure, I'm going to bring it up since the photo is already underexposed. Contrast. My highlights, I like to usually bring them down. It's just personal preference. Shadows. I like to bring them up along with whites and blacks. Clarity, I usually adjust it just a little bit. My saturation, I usually bring it down. Now I'm going to start adjusting my hue, saturation, and luminance. We're going to start by using the hues. I don't think I want to do anything else from here, so now I'm going to switch to saturations. Now let's switch to luminance. My yellows, I always bring them down, especially if it's in luminance. And my blues, I like to bring them up as well. Now let's go ahead and edit with split toning. The way we do this is by pressing custom mode. Temperature is going to adjust the highlights hues. Tint. It's going to take care of the saturation. Vibrant is going to go down to change the shadow's hues. And the saturation just changes the saturation. Let's say we want to switch the balance. By pressing Fn and Vibrant, we activate the balance mode. I'm really happy by the way it's looking, but now I want to switch to camera calibration. By doing this, we go to Fn L2 to activate loop deck settings. From here, we can pretty much make it your own. By pressing the custom mode and by pressing clarity, Fn will give you more options. This is something that I tend to use a lot because the more the better. And especially for editing, it's very easy. Let's go ahead and go down to raw calibration panel where I'm going to switch each of the calibration settings. I'm going to start with the blues. Then the exposure one, it's going to be my blue saturation. From here, we go all the way to the top. So now we're going to go to the temperature calibration red. I'm going to leave it as is, but I'm going to switch the tint to make it the red saturation. From here, we're going to jump to vibrance and I'm going to set it for the greens. And the saturation is going to be the green saturation. After I'm done with my settings, I'm going to go down to close. Done. And by pressing Fn, I immediately jump back into editing. Now we're going to jump to camera calibration. By pressing Fn and temperature, 
we see how our reds are changing. The tint will take care of the saturation. Now let's go again and switch the greens. By using the vibrance, we can see how it just changes the greens. Saturation on the greens. Now let's say that I want the blues. FN Clarity, take care of my blues. And the saturation. I think I'm not gonna do anything else with that, but now I wanna do final adjustments. We turn off custom mode, and by pressing D2, we switch our sharpness. I usually like to go on 50 with my edits, so I'm gonna leave it at 50. And then by pressing FN and D1, we take care of the post crop and netting. I really like this because it gives my photos a moody look. There. Now let's see the, the before and after. I really like the colors. I'm really happy with the colors and everything. I don't think I'm gonna touch the photo anymore. There you have it. This is how I usually do my color management and I really hope it helps you with your workflow. Thank you.